Finding their place in line and standing at attention, 500 members of the Navy, Army and Air Force brave the rain and wind for an important ceremony. MARPAC is here to exercise its right to the freedom of the township of Esquimalt. Advance and be recognized. From the center of Esquimalt Road to the front doors of Town Hall. CFB Esquimalt Base Commander Craig Baines is welcomed in by Esquimalt Mayor Barb Desjardins. The ceremony, granting a military unit freedom of the city, or in this case freedom of the township, dates back to the laws of ancient Rome. It's a symbol of the close relationship we have with the uh, township of Esquimalt, and I think it's a fantastic symbol. We've been here together uh, for over 100 years now, and our relationship I don't think has ever been closer. The Freedom of the City Parade is one of the highest honors a community can present to a military unit, and the men and women of Maritime Forces Pacific were front and center to mark Esquimalt's centennial year. Well, I think it really shows that the community is behind the men and women who are part of the Canadian Forces, and um, I think it's a really great symbol of that uh, fantastic relationship that we share. And we always like to say that we're not separate from the community, we're part of the community, and I think that this ceremony really shows that. It's a feeling shared by the town's mayor. Barb Desjardins says the Navy is woven into the fabric of the community and things are done with a military flair. This really speaks to the significance of how we feel about each other and how we are pleased to be neighbours and partners. If you think you've seen this before, you have. Two years ago, the City of Victoria hosted a Freedom of the City Parade to celebrate the Navy's centennial. The last time the Navy was granted the Freedom of Esquimalt was 1972. On Monday, the 8th day of May 1972, there was passed a unanimous vote of Council granting freedom of the municipality to the Canadian Armed Forces. Dozens of people lined Esquimalt Road to take in the parade, among them Ed DaCosta. He was on Esquimalt Council during the last parade in 1972 and served in the Navy for 28 years. Also taking it all in was Joe Bukowski. He served in the Navy for 26 years and he wore his old uniform to celebrate. It's fantastic. Uh, I know they wish it would have done it more frequently, but unfortunately this is one of those things you can't do can help but yeah it was good good turnout eventually the barricade comes down Quick! March! the parade is allowed to march further into town the mayor and base commander looking on Squimalt was incorporated in September 1912 and the town will be celebrating all year a chance, the mayor says, to recognize and appreciate everything Esquimalt has to offer. This is a community that is almost like an island. We're surrounded by water everywhere, so it makes it a tight-knit community. And our parks are second to none. And when somebody comes to Esquimalt, they absolutely see what a special place it is. And this parade won't be the only way the town plans to celebrate its centennial. There will be events all year long, the vast majority of them throughout the summer. In Esquimalt, I'm Nikki Iwanishan for The Daily.